Berger, the owner of Bear Designs. This is Tyler O'Neill, our graphic artist. Uh, we are primarily a wholesale screen printer catering to contract uh, either clothing brands or brokers that are reselling it. What was business like before you began using Exile products? Lots of, I'd say at the time, additional labor that we didn't know that we could eliminate. So we would output films, make sure the films register, put them into a film folder with a proof and then hand that off. Um, whereas now we just take our file, print it directly to our screen. There's no films, there's no film storage. Um, it's amazing. What problems were you trying to solve by purchasing an Excel product? We just had to do better organization on our end with file names. Um, other than that, I don't think there really was any issues. Yeah, I don't think we had an issue. Uh, I know that your guys' product and other competitors existed, and I had done the research. Um, I don't think at that time or prior to that, I was ready just screen-wise as far as like our turnover every day of what we were burning and reclaiming. Uh, but once I kind of hit that 40 screen mark every day, it was just something I had to do. Um, I looked at multiple competitors at trade shows and I just found that your guys' service was probably a little bit more fitting for my needs and the product itself. And uh, I think we struck gold with that. Uh, we do like a lot of photographic reproduction on the shirts where it's like a 10 color, 12 color water base. And in the Southern California heat, it gets a little time sensitive because screens are drying. Um, and having your guys' product, I could work on the press with an artist, have Tyler make an adjustment, and we could literally just print that screen and get it prepped in probably less than half the time that we were used to doing. So where did you start your search? It was brought to my attention by m and uh, I got a close relationship with them. We have three of their presses. And so when they come in here and they're servicing our machines, it was just kind of like a recommendation of them seeing our production output. Um, and that's when I came aware of it. And then the timing might have been like six months later, the ISS show in Long Beach uh, is when I started looking at the products. And I think the following year is when I made the choice to buy it. What made Exile's products or services stand out from other options? I think just the level of the service itself. I'm a pretty personable person. Most of our customers have been with us for over a decade. So it's just a level of just communication. Um, I felt talking to m and their products, great. I have nothing to say bad about them, but I was just like basically another phone call. I think when we got in contact with you guys, we were, I want to see you as even Alfredo at the trade show, right? Well, and then we met Alfredo at that other shop. Yeah, it was just a service thing. Like you guys just really answered everything that we needed to know immediately. Um, you guys had offered to take us to an operating shop out in Orange County. And we met Alfredo there. So we got to see a shop that was 10 times the size of us um, using one machine. And I was like, no way. And so Alfredo kind of broke it down. Their employees worked with us for like maybe an hour, just showing us the process. And I was sold immediately. Were there any obstacles that almost prevented you from purchasing an Excel product? I think there's obstacles as far as getting the machine after we got it. I know Tyler had to rework a lot of the avenues of, you know, labeling files, getting them organized to our screen department. Um, and then like setups as far as where they're going to pl be placed on the screen because that became my job instead of the guy that was burning the screens so I could place them, you know, per wherever they were going to go on the shirt. The positioning of where the art actually places per the machine, per the press, just kind of dialing in where our reg marks need to go and formatting a template that we could use because we have multiple different screen sizes. So I think that, I don't know if that was challenging. It just took some, Tyler, you know, time and trial and error. Like, hey, do we place this here or there? Um, but it's, it's great now. Yeah, it's pretty smooth now. Did you experience any challenges when you first began interfacing with the CTS system? I mean, it wasn't really challenging. It was just making sure that, you know, he, he knew what 
exactly files he needed. Because before I would basically hand him a packet where now he would have just files in a folder. So it was just making sure that I kind of had it perfectly laid out for him to just be able to hit print basically. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't challenging really. It's kind of changing our format of communication. You know, whereas we had a huge job packet, like a film folder, and we would write all the specs on there, like the customer, the job name, uh, every single color, the mesh we wanted. Uh, we would write the angles of the half tones or whatever, anything that was necessary, whereas that was basically eliminated overnight. So we had to find a way within our communication and our streamline uh, to still communicate that, but only through having a file. And at that time, we were still handwriting our orders. So I want to say we're on an average month, we were producing around 150 orders, all handwritten on carbon copies. Then the other piece of paper, it was just on our work order. We're now January of 21. We um, are on the software Shopworks. And so everything is within that order and it goes live. So like my finishing department can see what the screen department, you know, and the communication is just basically live. So if Tyler and I re-output a screen, say we had to make a change to a black plate, um, everybody would kind of know at the exact same time. I didn't have to go tell one person and go tell another, which is really cool. What features sold you on purchasing a Spider CTS? I, I think it was a service thing. Again, like there's a lot of machines. They're all pretty similar. Um, it was just the way that your team and Alfredo broke it down to us. Um, and then seeing it live in a shop that is far, far more exceeded than us in output. I was like, there's no way we shouldn't be using this, you know? Is there anything specifically that you have enjoyed about working with XL Technologies? Everything, like he said, the speed for sure, the quality. Um, we had that, that thing dialed within two days of setup, right? Like yeah, everything, like you guys came out, you set it up. Alfredo worked with Tyler and my screen guy and had them trained in two days. You know, like Tyler and Alfredo will still communicate on certain things, but it's a lot more technical stuff. You know, and then being able to text him and he's very responsive and we don't really have downtime because of that. So what have you been able to achieve since using the Spider CTS? People still come in here. If I'm giving a new client a tour of our shop, they ask, oh, how do you output films and this? And we just go directly from art to play and they're blown away. Like people that don't even know that the machines exist. So for me, it was just a time thing. Like I could have my, I still have one screen full-time employee as I did then, but he's able to do so much more now output wise because of the time, you know, we're not taping films to screens, hoping they register yeah. exactly perfect. Um, the filing of the screens, our samples of the prints going in the folders, like none of it exists anymore. So it, it has basically cut our labor tremendously. Has there been anything that has exceeded your expectations since working with Exile? It's done everything we want to do. I probably don't even maximize the output. I know I don't do that, you know? So I think it's, uh, it still gives us a lot of room to grow. We're probably, we think doing like 40 to 50 screens or a little higher now, huh? Maybe 60 screens a day, realistically. So it's, allowed us to grow over the past couple of years and it hasn't affected our screen department at all. Why would you recommend the Spider CTS to customers? No matter what, I think a business, speaking for myself, um, the employee overhead is your biggest expense, like number one. And if I'm able to utilize any one of my employees uh, with better time, that would be the reason. What would you tell someone who's considering Exile's line of products? We have five automatic presses and the service is great everywhere, but you guys like Alfredo and your guys' team, like I just ordered um, some new bulbs for the exposure unit and it was just done and taken care of in a matter of a couple hours. Alfredo said, here's what Justin needs. I received a form. I signed it, sent you guys some money and I think we're going to get them today. So it's just a matter of everything, you know, the way that you guys operate as well as makes it 
no downtime for us. Was there anything that Exile could have done differently throughout this entire process? I can't I say anything. So. No. no. Do you have any additional comments about Exile or its products? Love the machine. It's amazing. Again, it's cut our labor rates in more than half, allowing my screen guys to do other stuff within the building and within their eight hour day. Uh, it's been amazing. A huge change for us.